Welcome back to another video on my channel. This is Legion and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this traps as well as player death. <laughs> In the Unity Editor I have a scene in which I have my character, a couple of platforms and the jump button. If you want to know how to make a button like this one, I have made a video about this topic. I will leave the link at the top right of the screen. So starting with our video, I am going to make a death animation. So going to the king right there, I'm going to... Now I have already made this, but I'm going to show you how to make it once more. So I'm going to the animations, I'm going to write King Death 1. So this is going to make a new clip for us. Now going to the sprites, I'm going to select the first one of the death sprites and clicking shift and selecting the last one, then I'm going to drag and drop them here. I'm going to spread this to reach the one minute mark. I'm also going to the animator. I am going to delete this, I'm going to make a transition from this to this, from any state to king death, and I'm going to click on the arrow, I'm going to set the transition duration to zero, and I'm going to add the trigger called death. Now if you want to know how to make animations like this, I'm going to leave the video link at the top right, I've already made that video. But in a nutshell, you're gonna click on this trigger, and you're going to name it death. Now I am going to go to the code, so the player code, and I'm going to make a public void called death. Now this isn't the optimal way to trigger things from outside the script, you should actually make this into an event and event system, so I will make a video about event system in the future. So stay tuned with me. Now here I'm going to say destroy game object after one minute and here I'm going to make animator dot set trigger death okay so this is fine now I'm going to go to the unity editor once more I'm going to grab from the animation from the assets folder I'm going to, to drag my Spear. Now this is just a spear I draw, I draw on Photoshop, so it kind of sucks, I know I suck at drawing. But now I'm going to add a rigid body 2D to it. I'm also going to set the gravity scale to zero, I'm going to freeze the rotation. Now I'm going to add a box collider 2D, I'm going to make it S trigger. So S trigger actually means that this is going to trigger the collision functionality but not going to affect the physics of the collision so I'm going to make it the collider on the tip of the spear because we don't need anything else I'm going to finish editing and going to the spear script I'm going to first off make a variable called rigidbody2d I'm calling it rb I'm also making a serialized field a float called speed now going to the void start I'm going to say that RB is equal to get component rigid body 2d no I time I misclick rigid body 2d so this is going to actually capture the, the the rigid body component of the game object this script is attached to now going over to the update method so before the update method, I'm going to make a void on trigger enter 2D. And I'm going to make an if statement saying that if collision dot game object dot compare tag is equal to player. So if the object I collided with, the spear collided with, is the player have the player tag. Now what this is going to do is it's going to destroy the game object, which is the spear and also going to trigger the death method so how can we do this we are going to write collision dot game object dot get component 
player sorry player dot death now you need to move the spear somehow so I'm going to write so in the start the velocity of the rigid body is going to be equal to vector2 dot left times the speed now I'm going to save this so this should so this code should basically when the game starts is going to move the speed to the spear to the left so going over I'm going to add the spear script I'm going over to the king I'm going to put the tag as the player as well as making the layer as the player now I'm going to also set the speed to let's say 7 and going to run the game you can see that the spear is moving and boom he died so how can we make this that the character when he approaches and becomes near to the spear the spear goes off heading back to our script once more once more I'm going to say in the fixed up in the update method sorry I'm going to say if physics 2d dot recast is equal to something so now I'm going to this recast is basically an invisible line that shoots from the origin to the direction so I'm going to say that the origin is rb sorry rb dot position the direction is vector2 dot left the distance that the recast travels it's uh, let's say 10 and I'm going to also add a layer mask called hero layer so what are layer mask so basically this layer mask is going to make the recast only collide with the specific layer with a specific layer in this case the hero layer I'm going to make here a layer mask called hero layer I'm going to serialize this so we can edit this in the editor now I'm going to cut this movement code and paste it paste it here so this recast is going to shoot and if the collision is with the hero layer it's going to move the spear in the in this direction heading back to unity and running the game you can see that nothing happened but when I make the character move a little bit okay sorry sorry this is my bad I didn't put the layer player and now I'm going to move and boom and this basically it now I'm going to make the layer again to player this basically it now you can just change this the, the, the code a little bit to make it let's say vector 2 dot up and here is going to be vector 2 dot up saving this and heading back to unity and I'm going to drag the spear make the rotation negative 90 dragging the spear once more and making it hidden so now I'm going to start the game you can make any kind of visual indication to indicate where the spear is so the player can avoid it but now if I went there and boom another trap there is many other uh, let's say possibilities that you can do with this trap the, the, the only limit is your imagination and your game design now this is just a basic idea you can modify it as much as you want so uh, I forgot to say something or I can't really remember if you don't know anything about animations I uh, no, I actually said that right I will just leave the video link at the top right of the screen now if you found this video informative then please hit the like and subscribe button it really helps and peace out